Today on Sledhead 24-7, we test a snowmobile workhorse from Arctic Cat. Three contestants remain. We pick the winner of the Speedworks Sled X build with a surprise guest appearance. Later, we check out what new products are available for 2012, and we hear from extreme athlete Levi LaValle. Love to ride but low on cash? Our experts share some input on entry-level sleds. Get ready. Sledhead 24-7 starts now. We brought a little bit of something for everyone. It'll be crazy, stupid fast. Welcome to another edition of Sled Ed 24-7. I'm Misha Johnson here at Bristol's in St. Cloud with my riding buddies, Mr. Macman himself and the fish. So, you know, we've got a really exciting season, wouldn't you say? We really do. We're starting back at the snowshoot. It was incredible this year. Once again, we rode them like we stole them. We pounded them. We beat on them fish. You can't ride them any harder than we did. No, we put them through his paces. You know, we had a chance to ride all the new sleds, all the 12s, and it was fantastic. But we did ride them hard. We broke a few things, but nothing too bad, right? <laughs> well, I hear the tough talk. Now let's see the tough riding. You know, we, we evaluated the 1100 non-turbos before in the Bearcat, and we were saying, you know, what would you use it for? This is a prime example, the Bearcat XT GS. GS, groomer special. Check out the package. You can order this thing complete. So you go to the Articat dealer, another company makes a groomer, you can get the whole thing in one package, go out and groom your trails, Think about the possibilities. All those rough, small, narrow goat paths that feed the big trails, all the feeder trails, going over the bridges. Seriously, how versatile this is. Arctic Cat did a fantastic job. It's just one more example of what you can do with an Arctic Cat Bear Cat. From trail riding to boondocking and even towing, the Arctic Cat Bear Cat seems to do it all. Jeff Fisher tries out one of the biggest features of the Bear Cat grooming trails. What's nice is, you got the switch right in the dash, you got nice big mirrors, so you can start to cut. Bring the, bring the cutters down in, away you go. As soon as it starts digging too much, you just back it up a little bit. You can really clean the trails up nice. Take kind of a rough, rutted trail, you make it into a smooth super highway. As Mac and Fish put the Bearcat through its paces, they ran into a little trouble. You know, we've been wondering all day long, how are we really going to effectively test the winch on a snowmobile when it's stuck to get it out? Well, my old buddy Fish here took care of that little story because he has it buried in about three to four feet of snow uphill. We had uh, towing the sled behind it here. Now we're going to get a chance to use the winch. So Jeff is going to be able to take the winch, walk through four feet of snow to a tree, Hook it up and we're going to see just how the winch pulls out the sled on sled head 24-7. Slider on in. Pull back a little bit. There we go. Do you know how lucky we are to have this winch right now? We are truly absolutely buried here in about three to four feet. And that's just where we touch down and feel some base. This thing is absolutely stuck. We're going to see just how good these worn winches work. And my guess is if we're lucky, it's going to work perfect. Check it out. Plug it in, positive, positive. Ready, fish? I'll let the cable out. Go ahead and head over to your tree. Get us hooked up to get us out of another fine mess that you've gotten me into. Sure I'm, you don't want to do this? I'm comfortable right here. Every good job needs a foreman. Start walking. You're hooked up. Well, you got to come back in here. It's freewheeling. Click it, engage oh, the clutch. You can't even get off the machine to unclick it. He's a slave driver. <laughs> Is this sweet or what? No effort, hit the go button, and I can get myself out of the mess that fish got me into. And there you have it. Another job well done by Sunday 24-7 at Bearcat XT with the Warren Winch. If you don't have one of these bad boys, you better get one. If you ever need a snowmobile that can truly do it all, take a look at the Bearcat from Arctic Cat. 
Well, it's a long, hard ride for sure. And if there's one thing that I know, you have to dress the part. And there's no doubt about it, that motor fist is the way to go. So Jeff, what do you got there? Hey, I got our new Midwest riding gear. Now, you've seen us ride with our other gear. The Out West gear was mint. We stayed dry, warm, comfortable gear. Now we have a new Midwest gear they're pushing this year, which is actually a line jacket. All the same features with the zippers, the, the sealed zippers. Can't hardly wait till it gets cold out and we can go start playing in some of that snow. Absolutely, it looks awesome too. All right, well I know what I'm wearing when I'm going sledding. Stay right where you are, Sledding 24 seven, we'll be right back. Still ahead, three riders, but only one winner. Snowcross champion Tucker Hibbert awards the winner of the SpeedWorks Sled X Bill. We'll show you what's new for 2012 as we hear from the best racers on snow. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics, by Polaris, terrain domination, by Arctic Cat, share our passion, and by Skidoo, better rides, better riders.